Ethan's whole body burns. He can feel how every bone is almost breaking. But it seems that this maniac killed himself at the end. But then again, he was like Mia, bulletproof. Headshots were like bee stings to him. Ethan still remained cautious. What a luck! The car starts to burn. Hopefully this guy burns into a crisp. Oh boy! Now look what you done, motherfucker! This is the end, you know? What in the holy world is inside him? Ethan started to believe he might become insane, and this is some kind of nightmare. This guy runs around, burning, as if it is a neglectable sunburn. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some wonderful... Oh, fuck! That crazy son of a bitch killed himself. What did he mean with wonderful? His death? At least he seems not to move anymore. So maybe it's over with him. Ethan saw his head splatter. Even possessed people are dying from this. That ox thing was all the time up here. Ethan just needed to climb here and get it. But you never know it beforehand. He is still down on the ground, not moving. Ethan has still to deal with other crazy freaks in this house and he wants to get out of there. So get on going. On the other hand, he should have burned every little hair of that corpse, to be sure. Somehow Ethan was confident that there isn't anybody here who can harm him anymore. There is that crazy wife of the toasted guy, but she's a woman, she should be no big deal. And then that son of her, he has only one arm left. Ethan stepped into a giant hall. This must have been built by very rich people. Are those guys living here, the rich people who built this? This must be the hall Zoe meant to have an exit. Maybe Ethan can find also something useful in case he needs to defend himself. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he... he he's a... he's dead now. <laughs> just not be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. A way out. This door seems to lead outside, but it looks more like a sculpture with missing parts. Also, this door seems not to have a regular keyhole. Why somebody would want such specific, unregular doors? As if this house is made to keep victims inside and make it most difficult to escape. A clock pendulum. Ethan can remember another clock where that was missing. 20 missed people in two years, here in this region. And only then authorities realized the connection. Ethan was sure he couldn't expect any help from them. Oh boy, is this a shotgun? Ethan couldn't wait to get his hands on this as he realized that the door behind him closed. Luckily, putting back that item opened the door again. For Christ's sake, is this some kind of labyrinth here?
that odd o'clock and was somewhere in the living room, where Ethan was at the beginning. Nevertheless, Ethan remained cautious. Everything could happen here. Damn, the bloody clock is loud. No way that nobody has heard that. But it needed to take that risk. It seems like this is one of the missing parts for the door outside. Ethan hurried back to the main hall. In case anybody realized that noise, they would look here first. Okay, the first part fits perfectly into the indentation. It seems that Ethan needs two more parts until something happens. Now to the upper floor, something has to be up there, otherwise Ethan is screwed. Wait, who is... Is that Granny? So she isn't dead? And somebody brought her here. Hmm, <clears throat> Evelyn again. Do they have a second daughter? Another door would yet again another way to open it. Ethan would bet his stamp collection, if he had any, that he needs to go in there sooner or later, just for the sake of it. Ethan expected everything to be a threat, so he kept his eye on that harmless looking granny. As far as he experienced, anything that might look dead here still can stand up and kick his ass around the house. That door leads to another corridor. This house is really huge. Hopefully Aiden can find the missing parts for the door here. There's a balcony. Oh hell, there's that crazy bitch. Marguerite was her name. Ethan was wondering what she might be looking for. Nobody seems to be in those rooms. Why the heck they have such a big house and all the rooms are empty? Shit, those clothes drawers and chests. Ethan needed a way to open them up. Stuff in there might be very useful. What if the needed parts are inside? Somewhere around here must be another lockpick or something. Fuck, somebody's definitely up here. Ethan prepared himself for a fight. Hmm, this room seems to be empty. Ethan decided to check everything.
another room, but again closed. Great, of course there is a shotgun inside. Ethan had the feeling of being mocked. Would be no surprise if they are watching him big brother-like. But that room, it had a similar locking mechanism as the one in the main hall. A tape? Is it from Mia? Ethan has to check it. <coughs> this book looks unusual. It feels like something is inside of it, something that is heavier than just paper. Ethan got the second part for the door outside. Ethan found a diary probably written by one of the parents. It is about a storm and how it damaged the house. It also says something about a ship that have been washed up in the bayou. Again, he was so excited that he haven't really thought about the fact that it is a bit weird that everything is prepared for him in this room, as if somebody wants him to watch this. This tape must have been recorded recently. Ethan, if you find this, I know I can't expect anything from you. Not after what happened. After what I did. I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are! You gave us quite a scare, young lady. I can't let her catch me again. I am sick and tired of looking sick and tired of your bullshit. I need to hide. I need to hide. Why are you putting me through this? What have I done to deserve this except open my home and feed you? And you at all this is a gift. This, this house has seen more than you can imagine, and it knows. Just don't say, or is it that you just don't? I know you and Zoe are plotting. I know you are scared. Think I don't know what you want to do with that boy, Ethan? No, 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 don't come over here.
off the garden with what was left. Thank god she smarted that bitch out. While watching, Ethan remembered that the similar device was in the main hall, but there was nothing to shine that light on. Where are they? It must be somewhere around here, since that Margaret bitch is going around out there. You. She wants us to be a family, goddammit. You. You! All you have to do is accept her fucking gift! Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked that and don't forget to comment. Have fun with this takeout and see you next time. Bye bye your Voidask.